Well, good morning and welcome to Tuesday. I'm up here in the yard in the Syracuse. I'm already hooked up to my load from yesterday. It's the load that I picked up down at HQ. And uh, rolling out to East Rochester. Big money maker. Well, not really, but I'm trying to think positive, you know, put a positive spin on it. So. All right, well, uh, I gotta get rolling here and I will uh, talk to you in just a second. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. And I'm off. Heading for East Rochester. Does anybody remember the, uh, this is a total ADD moment here. Does anybody remember the video game Missile Command? That's what my windshield looks like right now with all the water running down and off the uh, visor up above. Here comes this awesome bump. I love this bump. Oh, feels great on the kidneys, you know it? Wipe out all the missiles. <laughs> Missile Command. I think it was an Atari game. Ignition. Check. Sunglasses. Check. Safety restraint. Clicked and loaded. Pushing clutch. Apply brake pedal. Release tractor brakes. Release trailer brakes. We're ready to rock and roll. That's right. All done out here in East Rochester. Take my empty out to Baldensville. And I'm gonna call dispatch and find out what they have in store for me next. Which, uh, oh, it helped I put it in gear, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, now we're good. In gear, check. So I'm gonna drop this trailer at Baldensville, call dispatch, and I have a feeling that, uh, what they have in store for me is going to be uh, quite interesting because I have seven and a half hours left for today. And uh, who only knows what uh, that can mean. <laughs> uh, I hope it's nothing too, uh, too, um, my brain's dead. I can't think of what I wanted to say there. Too monotonous? I don't know. Probably just a bunch of running around the Syracuse area. Picking up and dropping trailers. But it's a job. It's an amiss it's a misadventure. That's all that matters, right? Right. Alright, I gotta get rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. That guy is enjoying his job way too much. Way too much. All right, I'm out here in uh, Baldensville, New York. Just dropped my trailer that I had. Now I'm bobtailing over to the yard in Syracuse. And here you need a safety vest when you're outside the truck and in the yard. You know, a high visibility safety vest, which I have one, I have no problem wearing one. Today I just happened to forget to put it on. And there's a yard dog here, I guess, who likes to play by the rules. Came up to me and asked me where my safety vest was. And off the top of my head, I don't know where this stuff comes from. I told that this shirt I'm wearing is a day glow black shirt. <laughs> my own shot. <laughs> he laughed and just told me the next time I'm here to make sure I'm wearing my safety vest. That was funny. <laughs> oh boy. So right now I'm uh, on my way back to Syracuse. I'm gonna pick up an empty trailer and uh, roll on over to Slove, I mean Salve, and probably sit there for the rest of the day because that's what you do there. You hurry up and sit. Good day and welcome back. 
back to the city of Syracuse. From the huge metropolis of Solvay, New York. What a trip that was. Alright, so here's what just happened. Got over here to Solvay to pick up a load. Got over there around 3.30ish. Sat there until 4.45 before I finally got back into the door. And then about 5.30, the uh, forklift driver comes out and says, Well, I got some bad news for you. Apparently, they had a machine breakdown, so the product that I'm picking up isn't done, can't be finished, can't be loaded at this time. And I only had like two and a half hours left. He said the machine might be fixed within three hours or so. I didn't know if I was waiting or what I was doing. To make a long story short, I ended up uh, dropping the trailer so that it could be loaded later. Now I'm bobtailing back to the yard. So I basically sat for two hours for absolutely nothing. And then to top it off, my uh, dispatcher says, oh, my dispatcher tells me that I gotta get something signed for them to verify that I was sitting there for two hours. Where else would I be? In the duty bar? Come on. Some days you don't know if you're the bug that hits the windshield or the windshield that hits the bug or that's been hit by the bug. Uh, so right now I'm rolling back to the yard to top off my fuel tanks, do my paperwork, then make a sheep, make like a sheep herder, and get the flock out of here. I can't talk, so therefore, this video is done, finished. We'll talk to y'all next time. Y'all have a good day. Pasta la pasta. Today's mileage update is brought to you by the bestest sound in the world. Okay, so yesterday I drove 320 miles. Today I drove 209 miles. Give me the grand total of 529 miles for this week so far. That has been your mileage update. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good day. Eh?